Hey, what's up guys? How's everyone doing? This is just going to be a bit of a blog because I fancy talking and updating you on what I've been up to. Um, I've had quite a good couple of weeks actually. Um, first and foremost, I went to see Roger Waters play uh, Hyde Park. And you've got me this awesome animals t-shirt, which I'm proudly flaunting today. The gig was amazing. He played some tunes from Animals. It's one of my favorite Pink Floyd albums. They had the uh, Battersea Power Station rising out of the stage and they had the floating pig going across the crowd. It was just awesome. So I had a really, really good time. Um, I've basically been listening to loads of uh, old Floyd albums to get myself in the mood, which is always really fun. And Roger Waters' um, most recent album, uh, his solo album, is actually very, very good. Very politically active, um, but I like, I kind of like that in my music. I like people who, you know, stand for something, have got a point to say. And um, listening to his most recent record actually kind of inspired me to uh, get going again with some of my prog stuff. So you can see the guitars are out in the background. I've been working on a bit of a prog rock epic. I've got a couple of tracks recorded. Um, and a third one written with my friend Phil. Um, kind of taking my time to, to let this album develop, but uh, it's interesting because I'm trying to write songs, um, uh, but the way that I'm writing the songs is so different from how it used to be now. Um, kind of let myself write it all in my head so that I'm not limited by the guitar. I just imagine the music coming in my head and uh, and then, you know, just basically splurge it all out when I go around there. and. Uh, see him playing keyboards, I just go, can you make something that sounds like this? And it's been a really interesting experience, really. But uh, yeah, Pink Floyd will always be there in my heart, one of the one of my favorite bands and such a good band to uh, go and see live. Although obviously it wasn't the proper Pink Floyd because there was no, uh, no Dave Gilmore. I kind of did wonder, was Dave Gilmore gonna turn up and um, bust out a solo on Comfortably Numb or something? But he actually, uh, he actually didn't in the end. Oh well. Well, what have I been playing? Um, I got a pickup which is Far Cry 5 and I had to go for the Gold Edition. Um, I've never really been massively into the Far Cry games. Um, I didn't really bother with them in the last generation at all. But I've seen a few people on, um, on uh, YouTube playing them and telling me cool stuff about them. And so I thought, you know what, I'll check them out. And I, f I found Far Cry 4. Sorry about all the noisy cars going past, they got the windows open. Found Far Cry 4 for a real discount on the, P on the PS4 store and played it through. I completely loved it, I played all the DLC, got 100% completion and a platinum on it, and really enjoyed it. But um, the cool thing about this is this is such good value for money, guys. You get Far Cry 5, you get a load of DLC with it, so you get uh, Far Cry 5 Zombies. Um, a really cool space campaign and what looks particularly interesting the hours of darkness Vietnam campaign And I just love how much content you're getting in these modern games um, But also for someone like me who's not played the early Far Cry games you get Far Cry 3 remastered, which is superb Really been enjoying that so um, I spoke to a uh, writer's rain and asked her should I play Far Cry 3 first or go straight to 5 and um, she was like you should play 3 so that's what I've gone for and I'm really enjoying it. I just, I wish that I'd play these games earlier, but it's kind of like a theme park, you know? You can just go and do whatever the hell you want, and that's what I really like about it. It's, the games, yes, they're first person shooters, but there's so much stuff you can do. There are bases to conquer and places to explore. There's driving, there's hunting, and I just find it's a really nice way to unwind and just put the game on and chill. And I am hoping to get a, Get a platinum trophy on it but that's kind of it doesn't feel forced it's just fun it's like i'm just gonna drive around and i'm gonna do some hunting and i like collecting the relics and one of the cool things i think about going for the platinum is you get to see most of the nooks and crannies of a game and there are some really really beautiful environments in far cry 3 they're just so much worth exploring so yeah i'm gonna probably play through far cry 3 first um, and then play some of the DLC before I move on to Far Cry 5. I don't know if I'm going to go all the way back and play the first and second one. I don't even know how old those games are. I seem to remember someone in uni playing one of those, so probably 2005 or something. That's just a guess. I've, I've no idea. Not sure if I'll go all that way back, but I'm really enjoying the series. And Yeah, the Gold Edition was quite expensive. I think it was £45 or maybe even 50 But for the amount of content you, content you get here, especially as the... Um, 
Far Cry 3 remastered game is like 25 quid on its own digitally. It's To me it seemed like a no-brainer and uh, I've been really having a lot of fun playing that. Another game that I'm really enjoying, Rayman Legends. Um, I'm enjoying this game for the challenge really because I've, I've pretty much completed everything in the campaign and uh, now I'm aiming for the platinum and basically you have to play the daily challenges every single day. Um, it's pretty brutal how much is required to um, in order to unlock the, the platinum, um, but really you need to be getting in the top 20% every day to get yourself a, a gold trophy. And uh, if you get enough gold trophies, you'll finally get enough score to get the final level of awesomeness. But man, it is a lot of work. Um, it's kind of like, it borderlines between I'm having fun and then other times I'm like, I'm not having fun. I'm just feeling frustrated. Particularly as a lot of players are playing it now who are quite good. So sometimes it takes me quite a bit of practice before I can actually get past the silver into the bronze. But I'm really enjoying games at the moment that require persistence and skill in that competitive element. And um, I find that I'm getting pretty, uh, pretty good at it really over time. And I like that kind of practice and progression. Um, I've been enjoying a bit of sci-fi reading recently. Um, I uh, you know, quite like re writing sci-fi myself and um, I did enter a few sci-fi competitions but I decided to go back and read one of the masters. And when I was on holiday once I found a load of um, Isaac Asimov books for really cheap in a charity shop and I bought tons of them. I started out reading the early Asimov which is basically his first few stories when he was like 19 and just breaking into the field and I have to say a lot of them weren't that good and he, he admitted that himself. But it was very interesting to see how he developed as a an aspiring writer myself to get some ideas. Gives you that encouragement to keep going because even someone as great as Asimov didn't start out all that great. Um, but this is Foundation, this is the first book of the trilogy, um, Foundation and Empire trilogy. And uh, he thinks things through, like, so he, was, he was a scientist, I think he was a chemistry professor. And it's properly sciencey science fiction. He thinks through the politics, the psychology, the socioeconomics, and it's got some really interesting and novel ideas in here that I'm just finding so refreshing to read. Even though these books came out a long time ago, like, I don't know, 40s, 50s, um, probably, yeah, 50s, 60s, anyway. Um, he had a lot of novel ideas in there, and it's, it's amazing to think that science fiction, even that long ago, could be making so many interesting, speculative um, stories and things and predicting how things might turn out. So. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have read much Asimov, but uh, if you have, maybe recommend some of his stuff to me, because I'm really enjoying it. Um, but yes, this is just a bit of an update, a bit of a vlog, let you know what I've been doing and what I've been playing. And uh, maybe I'm going to show off some of my favourite skill-based games that I've been getting stuck, stuck into soon. Um, but anyway, take care, have a good week, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.